quick market update. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are breaking through new highs since yesterday. The moment BTC broke 4.2k, it just went on and reaching 4.8k before it started going sideways again. Now as I speak, we are currently testing above 5k levels and see if this could hold up. Unfortunately, it's starting to go downtrend again, but we'll see. Now, the big question is, what's the best course of action? Should we buy or sell? Hello Crypto Gang! Welcome to another Lambo Life video. Now, first of all, this isn't financial advice. Second, the question of whether you should buy or sell depends on the type of investor you are. Are you a value investor or a technical investor? Do you want to profit short term or long term? Personally, I lean more towards being a value investor, but to each his own. If you are a value investor, what you want to figure out is if Bitcoin is underpriced today. Why Bitcoin? Because whether you like it or not, BTC is the market mover among cryptocurrencies. Against several other thousands, it holds 50% of the total market value of crypto. So let's check the fundamentals of BTC. According to Bitcoin newsletter, there's not much update except for a few backlogs causing a small increase in fees and some code and document changes. So it's all good, fundamentals are still strong, but there's nothing significant that's really happening yet that makes it any different from last month or so. How about Lightning Network then? Let's compare last month's statistics to today. So as you can see, a few increases, not really an exponential change, roughly over a thousand increase in the number of nodes and 9k increase in number of channels, network capacity now over a thousand BTC, which is roughly over five million dollars. So it's going well, I'm not gonna hype this up, Ivan on tech already did a few hours ago. In my opinion, I think we can handle a bull run now. Although Lightning is not as good as Visa or MasterCard yet in terms of scale, we haven't gotten to that level. But I think we can handle another 2017-like bull run. The Lightning will have some problems, I guarantee, but I think it's gonna work. I've talked about the Lightning Trust Chain in other videos and it is significant in this context as it serves as proof of concept that Lightning works. It's been passed around almost 300 times and is now worth 4.11 million satoshis or over $200. Now this ain't micropayments no more. $200 is too much for a cup of coffee. And the fact that Lightning can handle this today should not be taken lightly. Just try not to buy a car with Lightning though. It would be best to stick with Bitcoin on-chain if you're trying to buy something expensive. Elizabeth Stark of Lightning Labs said that this will be the year of the Lightning Network. A bull run would put that to the test. Hopefully not something that's overkill. Just wanna go back to 2017's prices. That would be enough. Now I'm not a technical analyst and I don't want to pretend to be one. So I took the best sources I could find so I could share it to you guys. I watched Nicholas Merton, Tone Vase, Alessio Rastani, Mati Greenspan, etc. All the so-called experts. Long story short, everyone agrees that the bears are not behind us. That's the general consensus, that it will go down. In fact, as I speak, it's already going down. Furthermore, most of these so-called expert traders admitted that they really don't know what's causing this surge in the market. Makes me think they're just as clueless as the rest of us. Tone Vase says there doesn't have to be a reason for it to rise. This might be just price action, the market moving just as it is. I don't know guys, honestly I don't think the details are that important. If you know that Bitcoin is gonna succeed because you know the technology, you've been following the people involved with it, the latest developments, their goals, etc. I think you're all set. Let me ask you this, if Bitcoin reaches 100k per coin next year, would it really matter too much that you bought at 6k instead of 4k? 
for me, I'd rather not worry too much as I know the fundamentals are in place and continues to grow stronger and more firm. If I had more money, I'd just dollar cost average at this point. You buy a couple hundred today, then a couple hundred next month or week, whatever. No headaches, you get to spend more time with your family and friends. But that's just my opinion though. I'm not saying technical analysis is not that good, I'm just saying you shouldn't stress over timing the market too much. Cause we all know it's crazy, especially the crypto market. For all we know, this could all be just another April Fool's prank made by a group of whales. So the key takeaway of this video is, dollar cost average your investments. But that's not financial advice though, that's just me. But let me know what you guys think, what do you plan on doing? And please tell me why in the comments below. I'm interested to know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if this really is a bull run, well, I guess I'll see you on the flip side.